contact and the return of a, a couple of drivers. So it's an interesting field, Ivan. As he puts his microphone down, just want to see if he's awake. Yeah, yeah. No, there is a couple of uh, new drivers come from the mini stock division, so they've put their big boy pants on and let's see, <laughs> see if they can uh, handle it or not. We'll see. We'll check out the buy sell in the next couple of weeks and see if they can handle it or not. I remember a good friend of yours actually, a um, certain car dealer from Nelson, and he said that he had a, uh, one of his staff was uh, getting lippy to him during the week and he said to he had, they went out stock car racing that night, the following Saturday, and he just smoked him. And he, at the end of it, he said, uh, See, that didn't hurt. I'm an old guy. That doesn't hurt. <laughs> Interesting, though, if you noticed on the buy sale on the Monday that there was a super stock for sale in Nelson. That would have been uh, Dan Fisher? It was. <laughs> <laughs> the old Eddie Hawkins car. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, so it's good to see a good lineup so early in the season. The scary thing is, there's a lot more of these to come. Like a lot more to come. And uh, these are going to be interesting fields. Of course, this is the grade where it's encouraged to hit. No, it is still racing, but uh, they might see the odd, uh, the odd uh, cheese slip off crackers and people lose the plot. Yeah, it's it's funny. You know, you'll see some that'll be kamikazes and some will just get into it. Um, the triple two car, normally piloted by Rico Gray, it's good to see that Rico's not in it because he's getting too old anyway. Um, Khan Gray, his daughter, it's good to see another female driver getting into it. And then you've got, of course, Dave Parrott, who had the 28 mini stock. He's got the X. I was going to say Coral Fraser, but it's uh, Coral's son, his, uh, yep. his stock car, the 28C there. But then, of course, we've got the two Gounser brothers back, Norton and James. And they've got some pretty good gear, so sure, the, the, the hope the hopefully they slugs. treat it nicely. <laughs> and, of course, Julian Lynch has returned in the 15C car. Uh, Brad Rose won behind him in the 59. The 318 of Grunt, and that is a weapon, that car underneath. There's a genuine gorge with a, a very nice motor in it. So we're in the starter's hands. We are wait for the green. A little bit of pushing on mid-pack <laughs> as we are away on racing. Willoughby Jackson and Tapley leading us into turn one. Here we go. Lots of cars. A few cars go. 21 gets spat out to the infield. We go around turn one for the first time. The 86 is on the infield. We are... On for the first lap, the 67 of Tapley leads the way. Rondell Grunts come all the way from the back of the 318, gives Jackson the big hurry up, flicks him around in front of the pack. It, after one lap, it will be a Rick Tapley in the 67 car. Back to Alex Rondell. Jaden Giles in the 318, as we have the 73 of Gowns Brad Rosewarn in the 59. As he looks to make the move in the tri rail behind him, Michael Aris in the 521. But it is Rondell. Smoke billowing off the 919 car. Arguably an absolute rocket ship, but uh, of course, uh, Troy Curry, no one for liking to do the big hits. Out in front at the moment, it is the 95 of Rondell. Back to Jaden Giles. Rick Tapley. Gowns with Aris and Rosemont there battling it out. The 317 coming through, the sister car of Brad Rosewarns, it is Huggies back out on the track. But Rondell at the moment, past the Valley Cars Warehouse Grandstand. He's got it wide open, the 919 smoking around the infield, the 72 lost Samantha Gowns to the infield also. Uh, these uh, faster cars I mean, have carved their way to the front, <laughs> Rick Tapley there just getting a big hurry up there from the 317. As the 95 goes through Jaden Giles right on his heels. The uh, 21 car limping down the front straight there trying to get to the infield. But it is Alex Rondell. Giles Gowns the 73. Norton driving the 73 car back to Brad Rosemont. This is where the back markers come into play. Well the red light. The red will be, I'd say, for the back end of the 21 car, just sitting on the uh, pole line there. The top guys now have caught up with the back markers, so it'll be interesting to see who uses a bit of bumper to blow them out of the way, or who the guy sitting in second is going to make some advantage out of the slower cars. I think it was, it was where a few of the guys all of a sudden get the wake-up call, because practice was practice. And some of the, you know, these cars look fast in practice. Come race night, when you grid them all up together, and the tracks are even for everybody, it's a wee bit different. Yeah, correct. So Dan Cross just being pushed to the infield there, the 21 car was, was trying to get it across the pole line but just couldn't quite get there. Our race leader Alex Rondell, Jaden Giles in the 318 behind him, we're away and racing. Just see how much quicker these up top cars jump out as, oh, the 
the 521 car there caught the, the 7 car is just getting all over the track poor Chris B Baker first night out in a proper race meeting for a minute he's uh, wondering what's happening to him that is a Rondell back to Giles back to Norton Gowns is Aris followed by Rosewarn there's your top five as they circulate around Rondell he is under some pressure here from the throughout in car Rondell tries that mid to high and carries that momentum up but once again we've got some back markers coming into play as the throughout in gives the 95 a big hurry up down the front straight Rosewarn's almost on the back of the 521 of course it is about playing the long game it is a championship these cars are running tonight as they go through on the 86 car into turns three and four as we watch the 86 car and oh Aris collects it Rosewarn hits him he gets on the gas he manages to keep it straight so some of these back markers they get a bit crossed up Huggies gives the 521 car a big hurry up as they went down the front straight yeah this is where what do you do yeah if you're the 318 sitting in second and he's got pace and he's he's giving Rondell a bit of bumper in the, into the corners do you just take the second place or do you poke him out of the way going through this last corner and take the win and try and get the points well if it was me I'll be taking the poke I'd take the poke and probably take myself out but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, interesting to watch you know the likes of Rosewarn and uh, Morton Gowns they've come through and they'll be playing a long game this is a three heat race uh, three heat championship tonight as the 86 car, he's just had <laughs> a real buffeting the um, Clive Wentworth there. Good to have him back because he took last season out. It was a holding power, now got a big falcon under that moat, under that cowling. And our race leaders. But also interesting to note the pace of some of these cars, the three tri two trials out of the Rosemont stables. Those cars are, are quick. ships, you know. Running CHS Holdens. So if you want a decent holding powered car, go and see Dave. CHS, uh, they know how to get the maximum out of them. Well, even the uh, the 521, they had its origins uh, with the CHS holding in it. Yep. The uh, the seven car there of uh, Chris Baker, poor man, he got bu he got buffeted left, right, and centre, <laughs> didn't he? And Welcome to stock cars. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not subtle cars. It was just the pace that those leaders were coming through. Um, he got it slow off the red light, and by the time they caught him, he was only just getting into race race pace and. Yeah, he got tubed up the day like there was no tomorrow. <laughs> and then he got spat out and spun round and... Oh, oh. Michael Harris is spitting the dummy there, yep. isn't he? Oh, two of them. Well, there is a new rule. They were told at the driver's briefing. They will hear on their one-way radio, red, red, red. They will count to five. If you're still moving, you're pulled off. That's yeah. a new safety rule that Speedway New Zealand are bringing in, and obviously we're enforcing it tonight, yeah, as well, they should be every meeting. The 371 snouted the 521 just as the red came on and then passed them. And I'd say the 521 just did the whole, uh, say the super stock gold roll to a stop. You could throw the toys, but them's the rules. Out in front though, Rondell. Uh, Giles, he tried to defend with Gowns. As the two, triple two car there. A few little swings at the, the chicken wave. Anyway. Rondell's taken the win. Maximum points for him. Giles for second. Norton Gowns for third. You'll see the bulk of the pack rolling out. And of course, there's a few, some good cars on the infield here, Ivan, and uh, they may feature later in the night. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just looking at the lap times. The top five guys, four guys, were doing mid 20.4s, 20.5s. The fastest car out there was the 218 of Leverage Watkins uh, with a 19.6, uh, and he came in fifth. So, you know. <laughs> Even you'll be surprised with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if that's, let's have a look at the curiosity. If that's the case, he is, where are we, 19.69, 19.68 is the so lap he record. So he was not far off the lap record, so, <laughs> and that's for, an, for a guy that's come out of mini stocks as well, wouldn't it? And for a car that really is, uh, it's a good car, but it's not a $50,000 car. Yep, exactly, so we will play an ad break, Modifieds are in the shoot, we'll be back very shortly. EnviroWaste are proud to be supplying recycling and waste services here at Ampro Tools with the Glead Speedway. They can sort out a service convenient for your needs from wheelie bins to commercial loads, even document destruction. They do it all. Phone 0800 88 66 55. Need your car washed or groomed? 
Get on down to Kai Point Wash and Wax on the William Street Mobile Corner and get that car looking like new. 24 hour self service facilities or for something extra special, book your pride and joy in for a full valet. Phone 327 0297.